Hey Aquarius, it's Ahara Stars with Illum Astrology and Tarot and my co-pilot, the magical teddy bear Romeo. He's been chomping at the bit to get back to work. He's been like, I really need to work. Like, let's just get this going. <laughs> Sorry I've been missing. A lot going on. I hope you guys have had a fantastic start to August 2024. I know I'm late, um, but I'll make it up to you. Thank you for all your love and support and for the messages of those of you that have been looking for my videos. I'm glad to be here now doing one for you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, first, I wanted to start out that I was lucky to formulate a collaboration with a wonderful company that supports all things that I am and that likely you are too. The company is called Otter Spirit and they do gemstones gemstones of all sorts they actually offer them for all zodiac different packs um intentions for protection for love for intuition for money um the quality of them are really good i just got mine in here and i was just um absolutely loving them <laughs> um it's this is the intuition pack, but of course you can get your own zodiac pack or any type of intention pack that you want. You got to take a look at their site. They're um, at www.otterspirit.com. I will be posting a link down below uh, that you can use a code to get 20% off should you be interested. Stones are a big part of of course working with tarot but also with astrology that help they all possess different energies that match your vibration or add a vibration that's necessary for you um, for protection for love for intuition for your own zodiac sign the Aquarius intention pack was absolutely beautiful you can get them in smaller stones or larger stones like I said they come in a box like this they have a little bag like so they're really 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 good quality I wouldn't be even mentioning them if I didn't think so um, it says each gemstone tells a story and it's time to tell yours it's really really cute they're beautiful you can gift them you can use them for yourself um, as I said mine is the intuition um, pack but you can look at all the different types of packs they have um, I will be recommending certain stones probably depending upon what the reading comes across like some of you dealing with different heavy energies you can offset these planetary energies by having the right stones and I'm a firm believer 100% in this and actually this company um, I do happen to really like their products uh, so I'm happy to collab with them I will again I will be leaving a link down below um, and you can uh, take a look okay all right so let's get started on August because lo and behold it's massive um, we're in mercury retrograde of course uh, and that started um, August 4th and it's gonna last until the 28th yes but the big news is actually Jupiter's uh, conjunction with Mars and that's gonna be um, in Gemini on the 5th because it's accenting your Leo house or your fifth house even though it's in Gemini according to the Sun sign of Aquarius which is love romance um, children and fun having fun so this and Mars is all about action and Jupiter is about making it big and expansive so a lot of fun opportunities are going to open up love opportunities um, opportunities to develop better relationships with your children however you want to look at it within those areas it's massive uh, Jupiter's conjunction absolutely with Mars in your actions says that faith and optimism in your actions confident steps forward will get you everywhere and it's absolutely true um, but the bigger even bigger news for Aquarians this month is August 19th the full moon in Aquarius now I know we have these every so often what's so special about this one is that it's in really favorable aspects it's actually in a trine with Jupiter and a sextile with Chiron okay and a square with Uranus which totally screams like out of the blue message that is going to offer you healing or positive positive news um, on the full moon in Aquarius it's at like 55 15 50 degrees 
Aquarius. It's actually conjuncting my Mercury, but check it, take a look and see what it's doing in your chart if you don't know. But nonetheless, um, being in such favorable aspects with Chiron, it's about healing, especially with a sextile. Um, some message can come through that's going to be big, extremely positive, okay? It could be a doorway for a lot of you. Like, we're having portals all year, so there's a lot of different portals coming up, which are doorways to direct connections with the divine, with spirit, with the universe, to manifest, create whatever you want to do. However, um, this conjunction between Jupiter and Mars happening in Gemini is big in terms of love, romance, fun, opening up those doors, okay? But with the with the full moon in Aquarius in your sign, being squared by your ruler, Uranus, is like unexpected, unexpected, big, exciting news. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily be healing news. However, for some of you, it will be. But it could also be news that is super big, like just big news you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for the time period to get this news. Um, expect it on the 19th. Um, I think that's the big news, but there's a lot more going on. We got planets, retrograde, a lot of stuff going on, but I want to get into the reading, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I was going to start with my fairy oracle. I haven't used this deck in forever, but the messages are so deep. And I'm going to get a card for you guys um, just to kind of start the reading overall since I'm late in the month, and I will be using my Astro Tarot deck again, as always. Um, and then I'm going to be using my Divine Tarot divine um, tarot deck to clarify and see what else is going on. So let's go ahead and get a message and we're gonna use Romeo's magical energy to clear the deck and give us a message for Aquarius for August of 2024. The most important message for them, please. Thank you. He's so magical. All right, please give me the most accurate messages, message for Aquarius that's going to resonate for where they are right now, what they need to know for August. We got carry me home, support, time to be carried, allow others to help. So I'm going to read from the book on this one because the messages are very, 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 very well said. Support, time to be carried, allow others to help. For those of you that's been going through difficult times, see, um, <clears throat> basically, or maybe difficulty asking for help or getting help or anything like that. True love is a dance of giving and receiving. And this time, it is your turn to receive, to be carried and to be supported. So expect someone to make your concerns their concerns. Feel and know the love of the fairies through intense love and love of another which is peaceful and soothing to the soul. Feel their strength, love, and feel their sweetness of allowing their support, their close embrace, and delicious submission to love. So expect some love offers, definitely, for a lot of you, or feeling like you're being loved and getting more support and care from those around you, okay? Those of you that have been feeling like you've been doing everything on your own, this is definitely an indication of a love relationship coming into your life that is being more supportive, um, than it's been. So keep that in mind and also remember that Jupiter Mars conjunction is in the fifth house of love and romance. Just keep that in mind. All right. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Give me the most accurate messages for Aquarius and their current energies of what they'll be dealing with for August of 2024. I just threw them <clears throat> three over there. We got Uranus, absolutely true for me. And I know it's true for you guys because we have Uranus squaring our sun. 
<clears throat> I'm going to get into that in a minute. Mercury and messages. Mercury is retrograde, so a lot of stuff is coming back. A lot of messages will be received. People will be reaching out from the past that maybe you haven't heard from. Um, communication coming through for a lot of different reasons, but things from the past. Also, just a lot of communication and getting information to and from and out there. Okay? Now, there's something from the south node in the past coming back or coming back up for reflection. Now... <clears throat> I'll get into that in a minute as well. But the past note, the, the south note doesn't necessarily mean everything from the past is bad or that you need to that you need to get rid of everything from the past. The south note is your past life or where you came into the world with knowledge from. It's like you have a hangover from all that knowledge that you came into the world or into this lifetime with. It's basically indication of something that you've already done or you've been you're very good at. It could could be your natural born talents. You ever come in Say, like, I don't know how I know that. Of course, Aquarians were always like that because we've had multiples. Um, but it's the stuff that you just automatically know. So the purpose of you reincarnating into this lifetime is to expand and to learn something new, not to just only apply what you already know. And that's just why we try to focus on the North Node, which is what you've come into this lifetime to pursue in order to expand your consciousness, not just be tailored into one thing from the past and just keep redoing the past over and over. However, this could indicate, since it's coming in with Mercury and messages, a past life or a past person connection reconnecting with you, okay? Um, or getting a message from the past. Obviously, that happens often during Mercury retrograde. But the Uranus energy is the Great Awakener, but it is pretty heavy on the nervous system. So I've been having a lot of body vibrations and like sudden, just like, like, I don't know, just zany like energy flowing through me where I've had so much energy and my mind has been super, 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 super fast, like too, and going all night long. So difficulty sleeping, but Uranus energy is electricity. So if you feel this buzzing or this electrical, like chomping at the bitch, you got to go do something new. You got to, you got to move forward. You got to do something. You got to try something. That's what Uranus is trying to do. And that's why it's change. So it's trying to get you to change or get out of a stuck mode or a stuck energy. Try something new. Try something different. Open up the horizons, you know. But it's very, very active energy. And it really, really, really does make you feel like you're looking for a thrill. You need to do something. There's got to be more. Um, and that's the energy of Uranus. And it's definitely affecting a lot of Aquarians right now. I've been dealing with a lot of Aquarius. <laughs> And I also know it's been affecting me, and I know that a lot of Aquarians are feeling it uh, as well. It can be associated with the chi energy flowing through your body, um, electricity, your, your nervous system. So you might want to look after your nervous system. Again, getting stones that actually support your nervous system would be really good. You can check out Otter Spirit <laughs> to see for, for those, and I'll give some recommendations, and I'll put them in the down below, uh, the stones that are best for for anxiety and nervousness okay if you've been having difficulty calming yourself otherwise grounding yourself okay grounding yourself spending time out in nature standing in in the earth barefooted helps calm that um they have a lot of grounding videos as well on youtube we have mars motion which is action okay and Mars is going to be aspected by Jupiter, which is going to be positive action for the rest of this month. Feeling confident, taking positive, confident action. Okay. Um, but a lot of you are moving forward. You're feeling a lot more energy, a lot more energy and a lot more confidence in August. We are in Leo season. So Leo season is our seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So partnerships and relationships are also a big focus. And speaking of just what I was saying, seventh house and relationships, expanding, working on, repairing, fixing with all this energy going on. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can break this down. I think I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of the Wisdom of the Oracle cards. Can you help give me some more further information for Aquarius for August of 2024, along with this Uranus energy, this Mercury energy, the South Node? Clarify the South Node for me.
so yeah we got yang energy which is totally it, it goes along well with the uranus and the mars energy it's feeling energetic it's feeling super energetic confident trying new things taking action creation creating and manifesting okay creating and manifesting for sure what else do we have can you clarify the south node sorry So, yes, so the south node is coming up with a fork in the road, okay, which is really, really interesting because we got multiple timelines that we can participate in um, if you're active in, in, in learning about that. But there's different forks in the road at different times in your life. Some will be past experiences. Sometimes you could be navigating the same trajectory all the time or sometimes when you make that pivotal move or you change you go a different direction you change the course of your life right every decision leads to a different <laughs> I choose to go here I'm moving to Phoenix <laughs> I'm moving to Florida all these different choices are going to lead you on a different path okay and there's something from the past that's gonna reappear and you're gonna have a choice and you're being told to choose wisely about the choice that you make Okay, um, now it doesn't necessarily be, and it's funny, this is a 33, which is a master, meaning that you've mastered the past situations or you're mastering them or past life things or things you've already mastered, but, or things that you've already become aware of or learned or already been there, done that. But that's coming in with this fork in the road, which is a decision or a choice that you're going to have to make or options being presented. Okay. Um, and each be, be careful about your choice because each one is going to lead to a different life path for you right i'll try to clarify that more to see what we can get about that but that's definitely coming up here as a choice now there's really no wrong and you know wrong or right choices because we're, we're here to learn we're, we're at the university right the universe university um and it's just when you're when you're really awake or when you're really aware you kind of know where these choices might lead or you've been you, you know you 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 can kind of see the outcome of 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 them um and you want to try to choose the one that's in alignment with where you currently are now because aquarians you guys have been going through a lot of leveling up a lot of advancement a lot of opening up and reaching new heights and new levels um so just be cautious of that. So we got loyal heart coming in here as well. And this is coming in on the seventh house of relationships. You are going to be recognized for your loyal heart, okay? Or your dedication to something or your dedication to others, whether it's in work with business partners, if it's in relationships with, in a relationship with someone, because it is coming through on the relationships card, but relationships covers a wide range of things, right? Um, but I see you being recommended, being um, appreciated for your dedication and for your hard work, but also for your loyalty to a situation. And also for some of you, this is regarding a relationship. One more. And then we have this never ending story, which has showed up a few times for some of you that are involved in this never ending story where something just keeps going round and round and round. And you're like, you're on the hamster wheel with it. Some of you, it could be a relationship that you've been going round and round with. It's this never ending story. I, I hear promises, promises. Like they make you promises or they, they, they tell you stuff and then they just don't do it. And others of you, you've just been having this dynamic where you keep this person that you're in this relationship with, it just keeps going in circles. Like you keep going back to square one 
every time you keep thinking you're making three steps forward, two steps back, um, or you can't seem to get together. Remember, these are general, so it's going to be different for all of you as far as how that is for you. I will clarify and find out more. All right, let's take a look. Can you please give me messages about for Aquarius regarding this Uranus? Some of you have to take action on something that you've been teetering about. Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. <laughs> and that's coming through on the Uranus card, which is about a sudden, unexpected change coming through. I feel like some of you are, let's, this is kind of one of those things, if you don't make a decision, the universe is going to make it for you. <laughs> some of you have an opportunity that's going to come out of the blue, two opportunities regarding two different jobs, I'm getting clearly, two different offers that you're not expecting to get. Others of you have been indecisive about, indecisive about something and I see you suddenly taking action and making a decision. However, that applies to you because this Uranus energy is just like making you make this decision. Tell me more. Maybe you're trying to choose between two things, two people, two jobs, whatever it is. We got the Knight of Coins. So yeah, it's about starting a new job or a work project or something that you're trying to initiate or start or you've been waiting for. Um, now remember, because it can be, it can go both ways. It could be somebody that's been iffy with you. Yes or no, yes or no, not really sure. Making the offer to you, okay? But I see you accepting it. <laughs> I see you absolutely accepting it. And for others of you, I see you taking action on making the decision suddenly, impulsively, and kind of just like, Tossing a coin, almost. Okay, tell me about this Mercury, please. But I see an offer coming through for a lot of you, and you might be indecisive about taking it at first, and then you're going to just take it. Tell me about Mercury. We got the magician on Mercury, which is interesting. So <clears throat> we are co-creators with the universe. You have all the powers and the ability to create whatever reality you want, right? The magician knows this. The magician is aware of this. The magician uses this, balances all the elements in order to <clears throat> utilize all your talents, abilities, creative abilities, speaking, writing, whatever it is. Um, it's saying that some of you are going to be putting together something pretty magnif magnificent, okay? There's something about writing, communicating, speaking, something in that area, but there's also something else about getting a message regarding from somebody who's going to offer you something because they see your talents and your abilities. They feel like you're a person that can get it done, that can get anything done. And they're seeing you for that. So it's going to be multiple messages. Remember, these are general, so it's different for all of you. Okay. But some of you are really stepping into your power and your abilities and your talents and really, really finding them out, unlocking them. Perhaps Uranus is breaking them out, you know, for, the, for those of you that you've been seeking your path. But it looks like you're going to be really getting some very firm downloads okay in terms of where you're supposed to go what you're doing something like that but also your abilities and your talents really really tapping into those really really unlocking those and utilizing those tell me more about this magician energy So we got the Eight of Swords, but it was in the reverse. So it's like coming, okay, so some of you may have been stuck in your head about a lot of things. Maybe really feeling like you can't move forward with something you aren't ready. Like you're not ready to move forward. You're, 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 you're not there yet. I've been kind of feeling that way. Um, but because that's what the Eight of Swords is, 
is feeling like you're stuck in your head or you, or you can't move forward, but it's in the reverse. So coming through is like you are now unstuck, okay? And it's the timing's gonna be different for all of you, but you are stepping into your true power and your true abilities and your talents and you will be using them. And for some of you, it's online, it's it may be a YouTube channel, some of you it's 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 communication, it's writing, it's it's different for all of you. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like for some of you, you've been feeling stuck in a job or not having a job or something like that. Take it how it resonates. Remember the general, so it's different for all of you. But you're going to be getting communication that's going to make you unstuck and utilizing all your talents and your abilities and being able to put them in place. Somebody is going to see them, acknowledge them, and allow, not allow, but encourage you to use them. You're going to be getting a message about that. Stepping into your magician here, coming out of being stuck in your head like you don't know you're not ready on your path. You're maybe you've been asking the universe and like, you know, to help me figure, figure out where I want to go, what I want to do. You know, maybe that's been the case or you've been waiting on something or you've been unable to move forward on something. And some of you will be walking away from something that you've been invested in to start this new level up launch i want to see which card i get for because i feel like a lot of you are leveling up and you're and you're almost leaving an old way of doing things an old way maybe something that you've outgrown maybe something that you're just not in maybe it's something that you've been heavily invested in because you've opened new doors to new things tell me what this is about for aquarius It, it looks that way because it says be brave and authentic be the brave and authentic soul you were always destined to be and I and I really 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 feel like this is like walking away from something that you're like oh I put a lot into but I'm going here to this new and you know we got Uranus energy too breaking you free out of this trapped energy okay and stepping into your true authentic Aquarian I can do anything self literally and for some of you it is walking away from something or leaving something behind that you've invested into or maybe even just it could be a belief system for a lot of you that's suddenly breaking you free it could be an old job there are many doors that lead to the place you truly belong and your dreams are never further than you can reach. There's something about leveling up, taking off and something here for you guys, okay? And maybe it's taking a certain amount of risk involved here. All right, let's take a look and see what this south node is about for Aquarius, please, and the fork in the road. You always have a choice in dealing with behaviors from the past, you know, because the South Node could be past behaviors, things that you've, you've, you've grown accustomed to doing automatically on autopilot without realizing and you're like, I don't like that I do that or, or, or things that you love about yourself, whatever may be playing into. You have a choice to choose to continue to do things this way or to change it up, okay, with the South Node and the fork in the road. Like you can continue on the same path or you can change it the choice is up to you right we got the king of cups some of you it's regarding a water sign however it was in the reverse so this could be a stubborn fixed difficult water sign person or somebody that's difficult to move forward with maybe even passive aggressive doesn't have to be could be a little manipulative um, when it's in the reverse in the south node 
coming to this fork in the road and a choice you have to make. Tell me more. Again, it doesn't have to always be this way. For some of you, this person is upright. But this is for those of you that know whether or not this person is in the opposite energy or not. So we have the Four of Swords, which came in the reverse also. So this was being in contemplation. This is coming out of contemplation. So some, a lot of you have been contemplating a lot about this water sign that's in the reverse, about this King of Cups that's been... It's coming up with South Node, past behaviors, past things. Um, maybe they're stuck in their South Node. Maybe you are being... Um, given an opportunity to reface it again and this, that's regarding this fork in the road of which decision you're going to make tell me more and it's like you've been thinking heavily about this person or you've been in contemplation about them but you're finally getting clarity in some way or you're starting to see something we got the three of cups which is a reunion or a get together or seeing this person at a celebration <clears throat> Some sort of celebration, celebration, get together, reunion. Coming back up. Somebody from your past is definitely coming back up. <clears throat> and it's a water sign person in reverse. Sun, moon, or rising. And we got the nine of coins. And <clears throat> this was also in the reverse. I don't know why they're coming out in the reverse, but the nine of coins is about having everything that you want. So this person hasn't been offering you everything that you need for fulfillment. So whether it's a water sign or not, this person hasn't been fulfilling you or making you feel as if you are abundant and that you're all taken care of and that everything's good. Having everything that you want. So they don't have everything that you want. They're not, obviously, or maybe they're just acting out not having every, everything that you want because they're in the reverse. Maybe it's temporary, but for some of you, they are that way and they have not been offering you what you really need and what you really want and maybe even making you feel unstable or, or something because the Nine of Pentacles or the Nine of Coins is having everything you need and want and being abundant in it. So in the reverse, regarding the situation, it hasn't been... We got the seven of wands coming in the upright. So this person's been defensive, blocking you off. Very difficult to get through to. Maybe even defensive. Okay. Or maybe you're now setting boundaries towards this person or you set your boundaries towards this person. It could go both ways. And maybe that's why they're coming back from the past. Maybe you already had to do that. So we got the seven of cups regardless whatever this can this this connection has been extremely confusing you never know what you're going to get you don't know like maybe they've been like multiple they, like they're they've been they've been different um offering you different things but not really what you want or it's just been confusing it's been confusing you don't really know what they want Okay, so that's something from the South that's going to be coming back to some of you. Not all of you, remember? It's different for all of you. Let's take a look at the Seventh House of Relationships. We got the eight of coins. Wow. So your relationships are building and working towards something. Okay. A lot of you are going to be getting more stable connections in relationships. You're going to start reaping the rewards from the efforts that you've put into relationships. Okay. And it very well could apply to any relationship because it's coming through on the relationships. And this is reaping the rewards from and refining and perfecting as well. So some of you could be, you're setting that bar higher. Like you, you've changed from, you know, 
one way of being in relationships to another where you have higher expectations and you're really, 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 um, you've been refining what it is you really need and want in a relationship and not really willing to accept anything less than that. And you're starting to reap the rewards by getting those types of people or attracting those types of relationships. Yeah, you've been cutting out anything that hasn't been working for you. You're setting firm boundaries, very firm boundaries. Some of you, um, you're just not, you're not feeling defeated anymore in the relationship area. You're really stepping into your power. You're really starting to be like, this is what I need. This is what I have to have. And, and, and that's it. <laughs> and it could be anyway, you know, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, and some of you are starting a new relationship or you already did or you're getting involved in one that's different from your past. That is completely different. Or you're beginning or starting one, okay? And this person is a very different and 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 and, and likely everything that you really really want but maybe aren't aware of it or you will be meeting this person. I see you getting love offers or having options. I also see you getting involved with somebody new, fairly new. Tell me about this person. Because you've changed your, st your standards or expectations. And it's justice. This is somebody that you have earned, like you have decided that you want somebody honest somebody with integrity somebody somebody you manifested and it's come in as your gift as your justice card with this person but this means that they're a good person or they're upright person this new person okay and also some of you could end up marrying this person if you want. We got the six of wands. This person makes you feel good. They give you a lot of attention. They value you. They look up to you. They're, 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 they want to move things forward with you. They're very attracted to you, enamored with you. They see you as like the one that they really, really want. Some of you started a new relationship with somebody pretty spectacular or some of you will be. And I think that's because it's coming through in the relationship and the loyal heart. This person is dedicated. Okay. So let's take a look at this never ending story. I might do an extended on this one uh, to go into the certain people. If you go, if any of you are interested, because it's the, my readings tend to get so long. Um, so on this never ending story, you have somebody contacting you and expressing themselves again, which when I say again, <laughs> it's because it's a never ending story and you might be hearing a lot of what you've always been hearing, but let's take a look. So somebody, some of you have been dealing with somebody on and off for a long time. We got the ace of coins, which is the beginning of something more stable. I feel like they've offered you a lot, but it hasn't quite come through. And we got the world card in the reverse, which is refusing to end a cycle. Not ending something, not beginning new. So the world card in the reverse is... Um, Regarding this never ending cycle, and since it's coming in with the Page of Cups, it's a love relationship that started offering you everything, offering you everything. Okay. But it's on this never ending story 
and the world card in the reverse means this person is not willing to end whatever it is that they need to in order to move things forward and that's why you've been stuck here Now, these are all different situations. Some of you, they're, they're, they could be all different situations for different ones of different ones of you. If it doesn't fit, don't make it don't make it fit. OK, um, just like I said, not all of you are involved with an upside down water sign. Some of you might be having a great relationship with a water sign, but for some reason it's not showing up in this particular reading or, you know, vice versa. Um, that's the thing about general readings. But some of you in this never-ending story, you've been offered a lot. You've been promised a lot, okay? And you've heard it You've heard it all. This person's romantic, expressive, offering you everything. But the world card in the reverse is no change is coming in because they're not willing to end a cycle or end something or change their world in some way based off of... So we got the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this is a very kinship type of connection. It's it's a very special connection. There's very there's a lot of romance. There's a lot of childlike, easy get along together. Um, like when you're together, you just you get along with ease. Um, but the Ten of Cups in the reverse is like, and it's coming in with this world card in the reverse, which is like not wanting to end a cycle with a family or end a cycle with a marriage or end or walk away or afraid the whole world's going to turn upside down. Or they just haven't been offering you this Ten of Cups. And they, they keep coming back. It's never ending cycle. Wow. Okay, let me see if I have any uh, message for you guys just to close this one out. Um, I will be doing a person of interest reading, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try to get out all the signs um, to do it. If you'd like a personal reading, you can text me at 818-839-1116. I'm back on board. Or you can email me at illumastrology. Um, at gmail.com. Can you give me the most helpful message for Aquarians dealing with these situations? We got shadow self. Taking a look within your inner world is a reflection of your outer world. Some of you may be having dealing with someone who's dealing with their shadow self, which is a reflection of what's going on within you or you reflecting outwardly or having to really go within with regarding something and we got release letting go of something in order for it to come back whole or right or releasing any judgment or attachments to things what else do we have and we got patience for some of you um, divine timing, patience, and, and, and just not pressure. Maybe just releasing and letting go because it's release and patience. Just like releasing and letting go. Wow. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you guys for the August 2024. I will be doing more readings again. This was just the first one I was getting started on. And these are kind of specific messages for specific people. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, check out your rising or your moon sign for your messages may be there as well. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. You guys are awesome. I love you. You're amazing. Don't forget that if you're interested in any stones, and I will list um, the ones down for the uh, for those of you dealing with a nervous issue, okay? Um, uh, and you can get the stones anywhere, of course, but I'm, I'm just telling you guys to check out Otter Spirit, just to check it out, okay? And I have a special 20% link uh, off that I'm going to put down below. Um, but um, 
yeah, I'll be I'll be listing those. So again, for a personal reading, you can um, text me at 818-839-1116. I'm sending you guys all the best. Until next time, thank you, Aquarius. Love you guys.